Hello, all lovers. Thank you for turning in once again. As requested, uh, some people asked me to show how to sharpen the pencil. So I will show you guys how to sharpen your pencil from this to this. So basically, this is all we need. A exacto knife, pencil, a piece of sandpaper. If you don't have a exacto knife, you can use any knife that you can find, as long as they are sharp. If you are using an, an exacto knife, make sure keep your cap on the whole time while you're not using it to preventing any cutting and poking. So um, this exacto knife is really sharp and also you can replace the, the blade whenever you feel the knife is not uh, sharp anymore. The tip of the knife can be easily broken if you cut on hard surface, but today we are not using the knife to cut on anything hard, but just using the knife um, to uh, sharpen the pencil. When you purchase the pencil, it will look somewhat like this. The tip of the pencil was sharpened by a pencil sharpener. So as you can see, there's um, clean, but yet there's only a little bit of the lid which is exposed. And that means you can only draw for a short time. If you are aiming for a long-term drawing or a long section drawing, this is not, is not going to help. Uh, you always have to go back to the trash can every five minutes or so. So this is not something that we should do when we uh, get ready to do the drawing. I usually joke with my students. I told them that um, by the end of the uh, quarter or semester, by the end of the um, the course is over, if they still cannot sharpen the pencil and their pencil still look like this, I will fail them. So <laughs> I try to scare them, but yet it is important for anyone to get the pencil ready. It would be much more helpful for you to compose your drawing. Drawing is not easy already, but yet if your tool is not ready, it will give you more difficulty. So sharpening your pencil is important. Now let's get ready to, to sharpen your pencil. Usually this is how long the pencil that we purchase. And some people might just sharpen a little bit at a time and try to save some of the pencil for longer uh, sections. But for me, I usually start off about here about one third of a more, little bit more or less than one third. This is where I start sharpening my pencil. So I just pull and push, pull the pencil and push my blade like, like this, just like that. Turn and keep, just keep turning, just like that. And also make sure your fingers always behind the blade always and not in front of it otherwise you will cut yourself there will be a higher chance to, for you to cut yourself and i have uh sharing with my students before i told them the finger must be behind the blade but uh, one of the students did not listen and this is what she did and when i turn around and getting ready for other material for the class she tapped on my shoulder and I turned around, she showed me her finger, her finger was cut and the, the blood was keep coming out because this blade is really sharp. It is really, really sharp. So this is what I would recommend. Your finger is always behind the blade, just like that, to preventing any cuts. So I just keep turning like that, until the lid is exposed. And of course, you should do this over your trash can and not like what I'm doing now, because I want to show you guys uh, exactly what to do. And without seeing the trash can, instead of uh, 
trash can, I use the paper for uh, holding the cutoff pencils. So as you guys can see now, the lid is exposed. Okay, so I just keep continue turning, 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 turning. I try to trim out all the wood that I have. And make sure I have longer the center of the lid come out just like this. Okay, some people cut only this much. I would I would prefer longer because if you have short lid come out and there's an angle, stronger angle to the pencil, it can snap really quickly, easily when you try to draw something on top. So this is something I would do. Now I'm just using more of the tip of the, the blade, chip off, sharpen off the little bit extra, make sure the the wood is rounder, it's more even. So after that, I'm start sharpening the lid, which is by turning. So I'm gonna turn like this while I'm sharpening the pencil. Okay, so I'm using the tip more closer to the tip just like that lightly lightly and just keep turning until you're finding the, um, the sharpness that you desire for lightly i don't really use any pressure just use my hand movement just turn and just do this just turn, 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 and chip off more and more. It's quite uh, more like a meditation for me. And because when I'm doing this, I don't need to worry about too much, just focus on sharpening the pencil. Some people want to get this over with quickly and they can go and do their drawing really quickly. Well, this part, it's just like a soldier polishing the gun. Or, or a sword. Make sure the weapon is refining, uh, ready, is refining prepared before you go into the battle, right? And do it in a drawing for some of the people just like going into a battle because uh, there's much more you need to do and to fight uh, against with the subject. So this would be the first step and get yourself ready. Now, for some people, uh, they don't have the patience for this, which is fine, okay? It will take usually maybe a few extra minutes just to sharpen your pencil to get ready. And as I said, if you don't have the patience for this, now this is the next stage that you can do. Uh, the next thing you can actually uh, do sharpening a pencil without using a knife the whole time. What you can do is use your piece sandpaper. The grain of the paper can be more refined. It can help refining your uh, pencil. If it's too, too rough, too sandy, it's going to take off much more of the pencil. So when you have your piece um, sandpaper, you can cut it smaller, just like what I have about a palm size and the first thing you need to do is just lightly fold it lightly just like that don't fold it totally and with a deep crease in it as long as you have a a, a crease like this that's fine what I'm gonna do actually is gonna lay my pencil at the center and when I'm doing my sanding just push turn push turn do you see my pencil turning push turn push turn push turn but that's not how i'm going to send it uh, the reason why i'm going to show you now is show you the motion but actually this is what i'm going to do close it slightly 
just like that. Keep turning. See my pencil? Keep turning. And can you can not just one direction? You can back and forth, back and forth like that. It's fine. So I will show you a quick result. Uh, much faster than a knife if you if you don't have the patience for it. So as you can see, it's more refined now. And I'm gonna just tap and go to the other side. Do the same thing again. And then you can actually let the other side, uh, let the uh, uh, charcoal come out from the other side if you want to, just like that. The key is not to fold the paper, the sandpaper, just to create a crease that can hold the pencil. So, but this way, as you can see, the pencil is getting uh, a little bit tinned up by the um, uh, by the charcoal. As you can see, using the paper will make your pencil quite dark uh, on the wood area. So that's something that, that's why usually I use, uh, use a knife instead. But for a quicker result, if you don't have that much of patience, yeah, um, the sandpaper would be uh, one of the ideas you can use to get your pencil wet. Just like that. And turn. And turn and turn. Now, when I open up my um, sandpaper, I can see it and calculate how much of the tip that I want, the pointy of the tip I want. Now, the pencil is ready, as you can see. If you don't like the pencil being too dark at, on the wood area, you can use a razor. Just clean up a little. If you do mind. That's what something you can do. And also, if you don't mind, just start drawing with the pencil. Basically, this is how it looks like, how it should look like when you are um, getting ready for your drawing. Now, this is the comparison with the pencil, uh, how they look like come out from the manufacturer. And this is how we getting ready for the pencil. As you can see, this can only last, the maximum is about 10 minutes, that's all. This I can draw with an hour, two hours, I, stay, I can still going and going and going. So uh, for the people who only draw like this, uh, I would say they either are uh, amateur or they are not serious or they don't know what to do with the pencil. And for the people who have their pencil weighted like this, that means at least they know that how much of the pencil they can use, they have to use, and how much effort they can put on with this pencil right here. So once again, this is not how we use the pencil to draw. And this is how we getting ready for the pencil. Besides sharpening the pencil, I would also like to talk a little bit about the pressure of the pencil. Um, when people have the pencil like this, the jaw tends to be a little bit thicker because the tip of the pencil is not as refined. And they end up drawing the pencil mark like this. And getting, and getting wider and thicker like that and even though i want to draw really lightly yes i still can draw a little bit lighter like that the same pencil you can create a different darkness and some people said oh my pencil is too dark how come i i cannot draw as light as as everyone else 
because of the pressure of the pencil. I usually uh, ask my student to stick out the hand like this. The easiest way for me to show the pressure is draw on the hand. So I pretend that the darkness that what they have, I try to uh, imitate the dark value that they have and press down harder on their palm. When I'm trying to show, show a little bit lighter touch, just lighten up and just feather on top of the surface of the uh, of their palm. So they can feel the pressure and they can uh, see the differences between the dark line and the much lighter lines. So once again, lightly, a little bit more pressure, more and more and more and more and more and more pressure. See, you can do a gradation, just use one single pencil. As in the past, many artists, they don't have the luxury saying that, oh, it's a 2B, HB, 4B, and 6B. They only have one pencil. What can they do? Pressure. The pressure on tip, on the tip of the uh, pencil. So this is what we sharpened earlier. And as you can see, I can draw the line and still turning. When I draw, I turn. So I show you the letter. So you can see, actually, I have been turning like this. By turning like that and drawing at the same time, uh, it, the pencil is sharpened by itself. So can you see the, the pencil? The mark is turning. The, the lettering is turning. So something like that you guys might not pay attention to. And this is something that I would like to share with you. So by doing this, the tip remains sharp for a much longer time. If you just draw one direction, the tip will be uh, cut into a, an angle, one side flat and the other side uh, pointy by, by turning like that. And the tip is always sharp, always remain sharp as you can see. All right, this is how I draw without turning. Do you see the tip? And the difference between this one and this one. So, okay, so this is it. Thank you very much. Hopefully this information will be helpful for you to create your drawings. And if you like the video, please hit like, subscribe, and share it to your friends. Thank you very much. See you next time.